or should I say Merry Christmas Tangerines from Querétaro, Mexico. I just spotted the greatest thing of all time. Look at this adorable little fluff ball. It's Santa Bunny. It's Santa Bunny. Oh, I'm gonna die of cuteness overload. It's so cute. <laughs> We just have like 15 minutes with this bunny and that's the video. Okay. Okay, that's it. I can go home now. My life is complete. Bubble. 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 Do you think this was part of the nativity? The original nativity? Santa Bunny? Is <laughs> 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 tu mascota? Sí. Uh, oh, wow. ¿Cuántos años o meses tiene? Once meses. Once meses? Once meses. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Qué precioso. Ah, me encanta. Gracias. No, de nada. ¿Te ¿Te <laughs> Yes. Oh, 11 months old, little fluff ball. <laughs> As I'm walking away from the bunny, I'm realizing that there's a song that goes like that. Santa bunny. No. No? Santa baby. Ah, oh, well, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> this evening, we're in Zona Centro in Querétaro. And I know Jordan has showed you some of this, some of the Christmas festivities that have been going on, but I've been gone in the U.S. for about three week, weeks visiting friends and family. Uh, clearly in that time, I've lost the ability to speak, so uh, please bear with me. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited to see this, all the lights, the, right here we have this giant Christmas tree. They have a huge like tunnel of lights set up that we're waiting for it to actually open to go back and show you. And who knows what else, hopefully... <laughs> Who knows what else? Hopefully, ponche, esquites. I am hoping to find some ornaments for my very first ever real Christmas tree that I bought. That Street has... food. I'd love some tacos. Oh, I, Sorry, I'd, I'd do some tacos. Off. I'd do some tacos. Some Christmas tacos. Do those exist? What are Christmas tacos? I don't know. I'm asking. Do they exist? Can we find some? <laughs> Red, white, and green tortillas. Oh, that'd be cool. Do I look like Santa's elf? <laughs> oh, that's right, I'm Mrs. Claus right now. 50 pesos? Okay. What do you think? Should I get it? Yeah, sure. Okay. It is the season. It is the season of my season. It is, for at least like a few more days. Tienes cambio de 100? For all your Christmas parties or what? Yes, all the posadas that are up the next week. <laughs> so I do have now three Lele dolls, and two of them are Santa Leles. This one is so pretty, I don't usually see them with hats on. And of course it's tangerine, so it kind of fits our, our brand, our vibe. <laughs> and for 200 pesos, I don't know, should we get it? I don't know. Behind the camera, he's just shrugging. Like a kind of dance, <laughs> like a mime dance at me. <laughs> it's hard to believe that this is our fourth Christmas in Mexico, and of all the places we've been during Christmas, I think Querétaro is the most festive. What do you think? Well, it's got some competition with Merida. Merida was pretty festive, um, although okay. in like pockets. I'd say Puerto Morelos might be the loser of the four years because it is a tropical destination, so not exactly like Christmas trees and all that type of thing. You, oh, you know where else we were around Christmas time that was pretty festive? Orizaba. Orizaba. Yes. Yeah, that, that's a really cool little town. If you want a cheap spot to visit, Orizaba is your is your place. If you're liking this video so far, please subscribe to our channel because we'll have many more coming out like it from our life in Mexico. And be sure to stick around to the end of this video because we're gonna address the elephant in the room. You know what I mean? The the big animal in the room. 
Maybe it's not an elephant. It's a hippopotamus, obviously, because I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. You do? I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. How do these songs get popular? Only a hippopotamus will do. You're the only no one who should sing in our videos. Or rhinoceroses <laughs> or elephantes. <laughs> I only want hippopotamus. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Now we found our way to Plaza de Armas, where Jordan showed you this last week, but behind me is a, can you see it behind me? A Lele nativity scene. <laughs> so cute and so unique. I've never seen any nativity like that. I really meant to show you guys a lot more last week, but I kind of ran out of time because I had Given to go get her from the airport. That he was picking me up from the airport, yeah. <laughs> but that's why we're here again today. And also so that I can see this stuff, like the wreaths up here and the twinkly lights. And also behind the nativity scene was the big old Christmas tree. They've got a train set up over they here. They added the choo-choo train since last year. The train, yes. Yeah, so you can sit your kids in there and take pictures. And then this big ornament where you can also go inside and take pictures. I love it. All the Christmas spirit. Eee! And we've only been walking around for a little bit. So there's much more, I'm sure, hoping. Still want to find those ornaments and food and drinks. Like ponche. Le ponche. Jordan, grow what? up. Grow up. I'm 30. You do this in every video. It's yeah, so not that, cute anymore. Oh my goodness. Man, you're so mature. <laughs> so Jordan, since you're so mature, why don't you go be a little kid and sit in the train? Yeah, why not? For a little photo, video. <laughs> <laughs> Join me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was a little worried this wasn't made for adults, but <laughs> funny if it's all here in here, so. Yay! <laughs> Un poema de amor por una moneda. Maddie, how long has it been? Since I've had a ski face. Some embarrassing amount of time for how much I love a ski face. <laughs> Six months? Six months. Six months? I am a disgrace. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Hola, buenas tardes. Well, you sure pay a premium for esquites in Centro here. Mine was 40, yours was 35. Yeah, for this size. By far the most expensive for the tiny size. Usually it'd be like 20 pesos. 15 max. maybe? 15 yeah. for this like tiny, tiny. Yeah, <laughs> but, it, but anyway, uh, this is our first time having this in a while, no? Yeah, well, you were saying, you reminded me that we'd actually had it at Esquite's place and had like a bazillion options. Oh, that yeah, amazing. that was so good. So I lied about the six months thing. It's probably been like two and a half, but still. Um, hoping that this is worth the price. I can't imagine it's going to live up to that place. Esquite's Hidalgo, I think it was called. Um, it's not bad. It's not like amazing, but I do love my esquites. <laughs> my favorite street food in Mexico. By the way, esquites is corn in a cup, and depending on the vendor, they'll have different things you can put on it. Here, the options were fairly limited, um, but mine fairly has standard, yeah say. standard. Um, but mine had uh, or has cheese, mayonnaise, lime, and a little bit of spiciness. It's not like you said wine. Doesn't have any wine. That would be interesting in esquites. I like wine. I don't think I'd like that combo. <laughs> You know, I'm going to be honest, in terms of esquites, normally it really hits a spot. It didn't this time for me. Yeah, but I'm still eating it anyway. <clears throat> so, uh, where is it? There it is. Oh, there there's, there's elephant in the room. <laughs> Should we discuss this? We know you're all thinking it. Oh, as he puts his art map. Let me just scoot right in. <laughs> so the question on everyone's mind, maybe the title of this video, Are We Back Together? And don't even come at me with, oh my gosh, it's a clickbait. You're all thinking it. You're all wondering, are we back together? We're making a video you know, together. Anytime we appear in a video together, we get tons of comments asking if we're back together. Or just Heck, de or declaring even, it. Oh, you're back together. I love it. I'm so happy. I knew this would happen eventually. <laughs> even picking you up from the airport, we got those comments. Not as many as like making videos together. But. Not as many as we're going to get on this video, <laughs> even, th even though we're addressing this right now. But what is yes. the answer? Are we getting back together? No. 
That's the short answer. The long answer is no and we are still going to try to make videos together just like we said we would in, in our breakup, breakup video. video. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we are still trying to remain friends. Uh, that has been tricky a little bit and we've gone through some bumps in the road and some like reason like understandable hiccups is that the right word yeah um since the breakup but that's definitely to be expected so here we are no yeah. we're not back together um, like we said in the breakup video uh we don't know what the channel is going to be like going forward i mean now that some months have passed since then we have a little bit better of an idea but i've made some videos alone maddie's made some videos alone we made some videos together uh and yeah it'll, it'll probably continue like that i will continue eating a skeet days Jordan will continue to make the funny jokes. Nah. <laughs> I'll let you guys be the judge of that. <laughs> I found my hippopotamus for Christmas right here in Houdin's in Aya too. I'm done. I'm really done this time. <laughs> In Hardin Zanea, there's all these things set up right now. Over here, there's a bunch of animals. Over there, there's a bunch of animals. There's like nativity scenes and all kinds of stuff. Every little grassy area, bushy, okay. bushy area has some other figurines and animals. You led me to believe that this was just one giant nativity. It's actually more like Noah's Ark plus a side of nativity. I led you to believe? <laughs> what do you mean? You told me while we were walking by this earlier. Oh. Yeah, it's like there's nativity in every single one. <laughs> okay, whatever. They're, they're things. They're things. I'll, I'll forgive you because I got my hippopotamus for Christmas. So. Good, good, good. And I'm forgiven. We gotta go. You, we, you, come on, come on. <laughs> it's a Grinch. That's so funny. There's an actual Grinch over there for people to take pictures with, and I just watched that movie last night. It's one of a small handful that I pretty much watch every year, like classic Christmas movies. Don't you ever get bored of them? Nope, because I only <laughs> watch it once a year, and I said select few. <laughs> I watch the movies I like maybe like once every five years, once every decade. <laughs> but you also like. You seem to have some type of gap in your brain that by that time you're like, no, I've never watched this before. You pretty oh, yeah. much forget the or whole I, thing. Or I don't remember it at all. Yeah, yeah. you don't remember. So that's, <laughs> that's when it renews and you're able to watch it for the first time yeah. again. <laughs> well, I wanted to do a Centro of El Centro in the Winter Wonderland version of this one, but apparently everybody has that idea. Maybe not Centro of El Centro, but let's go try to embarrass ourselves anyway. <laughs> El Centro of El Centro! <laughs> Although we call this El Centro of El Centro um, because normally the square is the center of town, but Queretro has like, I don't know, six different squares, so I don't even know what is supposed to be the main square. It's so cute seeing all these little kids play with their whatever. It's like a rubber band with a light thing on the top. They shoot it up in the air, but they're standing up on the platform, which is probably like Four feet high? Three and a half, four feet off the ground. And if this were in the US, there'd be guardrails all over it, or there'd be people being like, no, get down from there, you're gonna kill yourself and then sue us. That's not how it works here in Mexico. Thank goodness. <laughs> this is a Monday. A Monday! There are so many freaking people out here, it's crazy. I feel like we, I feel like we can't even stop for two seconds to record something because there's that many people. Yeah. I do think this is comfortable to do the more here though. There were way more people than I was expecting, but this is really cool. Really? Hashtag Queretro, hashtag Tunnel Lights, hashtag Awesome! <laughs> If you're wanting to come to the Tunnel of Lights on a Monday night, you should probably allot about a half hour for it. Uh, yeah, actually that's true. <laughs> I was going to say, but it is a few days before Christmas, so obviously like everybody's doing exactly what we're doing, is trying to soak up the Christmas magic. And this is freaking magical. I love this. The lights are going, it is the music cool. it seems like, and they change. Like sometimes they'll go boom, 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 all the way down where it's just one little bit, and then other times they'll twinkly, and then it turns off, you get sad for a second, but then it comes right back on again. <laughs> and then you get sad for a second. <laughs> <laughs> if you're coming to Mexico, one problem I can guarantee you're going to run into is 
you're gonna go out and you're gonna be totally overwhelmed by everything and you just wanna go back to your Airbnb or your hotel at the end of the day and visit your favorite websites, but if something's gonna happen, they're all going to be in Spanish. One easy fix for this though is to get a VPN. With a VPN and a click of a button, you can change your location virtually to be in a city in the US, for example, or Canada, or many other places around the world, and boom, your websites are back in English. If you'd like to check out our favorite VPN, you can go to tangerinevpn.com. They're running a sale right now. It's 84% off, plus four extra months free. Again, that's tangerinevpn.com. And you know, given that it's Christmas day, you might have forgotten to get a friend or a family member something. This is perfect, getting them a VPN because it's digital. No wrapping required, no waiting for it to ship to them, and they don't even have to know that you forgot what to get them. So this might actually be like top three coolest things I've seen in Querétaro by far. So if you can make it out for Christmas, maybe they'll still be doing this after Christmas. Definitely try to come. <laughs> Maddie, I have a question. Yes? What does top three by far mean? <laughs> Why do you have to nitpick everything I say? <laughs> we had an agreement that we were not going to get in arguments during this video, okay? This isn't an argument, it's a discussion. By far, by far of like, <laughs> by far away from the other things that could be in the top three. By far, like, you are by far the most annoying person right now. <laughs> Uh, you mispronounce attractive. By far the most annoying person in this tunnel. Yes, by far. Top three, number one spot. By far. <laughs> We're here waiting to get ponche, a very typical drink from Christmas time. Um, and I can see that they have esquites asados, like grilled, that are like kind of ground, which looks way better than the ones that we got. I'm mad. Mad, mad. Uh, Okay, so I got a cup of ponche, which is basically made with a bunch of fruit and then it's like simmered all together, so it's kind of like a more complex apple cider, if you will. And this will really warm you up on a cold night, so this is so perfect. It's not that cold tonight, but just have to make sure to not burn my tongue. I burned my tongue. But it's good. Okay. It's really good. Behind me here, this red flower is called Noche Buena in Spanish or Poinsetta in English. It's very, very typical this time of year, just like Sempatsuchu or Marigolds are for Dia de Muertos or like Halloween time. I was hoping to be able to buy some while we were here in Centro because you see them all over the city. Usually they're like three for a hundred pesos for like a decent sized flower. So hopefully I'll be able to get those sometime this week to add a little extra Christmas spirit to my apartment. But in the meantime, please enjoy this little tidbit of knowledge. <laughs> We've been strolling around Centro for a while now and now we're back on the Santa Bunny Street. Yeah, um, George was like, no, no, I want to record this next part over here. And I was like, no, over here because there's like lights on the trees and also I want to see if that bunny's still there. <laughs> want me that bunny. Give me that bunny. <laughs> Are you going to get a pet bunny? It's so fluffy, I'm going to die. I would love a pet bunny. Yes, yes. Um, if you want any Christmas gift ideas for me. <laughs> there you go, easy Well, peasy. maybe if you give your address, someone will get you a bunny. Okay, five, six, two, four, one, south, 49th. I'd never tell you in a million years what my actual address is, Lane. <laughs> <laughs> About this guy, Maddie said, hey, it's the thing from Nightmare That Stole Christmas. <laughs> I'm like, I think you're mixing up a couple movies there. <laughs> and I confidently said no. <laughs> but now I don't know what it is. Nightmare before Christmas? Nightmare of around on below Christmas? There's an ice skating rink here with real ice and you can rent skates and go skating and stuff. And then they have a little green fish that you can like have if you don't really know how to skate or aren't very good at it. <laughs> it's like 75% of the people, even adults, using them. I would have thought more people would know how to ice skate, but I guess ice skating rinks are not, like now that I think about it, they're not common in Mexico, nor are frozen ponds or lakes like you have 
in where you're from, Minnesota or wherever, all over the U.S. in the wintertime. Where I'm from, you don't even need a skating rink because all the lakes freeze, all the ponds freeze during the winter and you can just go out there. But you know what? I'm surprised that this is real ice because sometimes they'll have ice skating rinks that are some type of like... Yeah, it's synthetic like ice. plasticky sort of slippery yeah. stuff that you can skate on, but this is real ice, like the real deal. And by the way, the ice skating rink is right next to Palacio Municipal. You know, this has been a really awesome Christmas experience here in Queretaro. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. Sometimes I felt in Mexico like there wasn't enough Christmas spirit, or at least in the same way that I'm used to. And Christmas is my favorite holiday, so it's been hard to adapt. But if I had Christmases like this here in Queretaro every year, I would be a happy camper. <laughs> and Merry Christmas to you guys, or Happy Holidays. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And on the screen here is a playlist of all the videos we've made in Queretaro if you'd like to see more about this city. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And one more thing. And go on that bell so you get notified the next time you release a new video. And we'll see you on Saturday morning. Merry Christmas.